Hello everyone, I'm Prathamesh Jaju, your Astro Buddy. And today, I'm going to show you how to use the Pyometrics Griffin Telescope. So today, we are going to learn how this telescope works and what kind of telescope it is. So this is a reflector telescope, which was invented by Sir Isaac Newton. So this is also called as a Newtonian kind of telescope. If you haven't installed this telescope yet, please click on the link above. Okay, so now this telescope is divided into three parts. The first part is the optical tube. The second part is the mount and the third part is the tripod. So to move the telescope, we have to lose these two screws. Once we have loosened them, we can move the telescope in two directions, left, right and up, down. So now, as a beginner, I always want to explore the moon first. So the moon is somewhere over here right now. And firstly, I'm going to look through this finder scope over here. This finder scope is no ordinary finder scope. This is a red dot finder scope. And this is a battery operated finder scope. So to use this, we just simply have to turn this wheel. You hear the click sound and it turns on. You can see a red dot in our finder scope. You move these two wheels to align the, align the finder scope. And now I'm pointing it towards the moon and it is towards the center of the finder scope. Once we have done that, we are going to use this 20 mm eyepiece which is used to observe the moon in its complete beauty. So now I'm going to slowly move the telescope and focus it with the help of this wheel. Okay, now the moon is quite sharp. And now we are observing the moon in its complete beauty. So we are seeing the complete phase of the moon. So now if I want to observe it even further, so I want to magnify into the moon's surface, I'm going to use a smaller eyepiece, which is this one. So with this eyepiece, this, that is a 12 mm eyepiece, I can zoom into the moon's surface and explore the lunar details, which are the craters and mountains. If you want to zoom even further, you can use the 6 mm eyepiece as well. Now we have observed the moon with this telescope. To point to any other objects in the night sky, you can find them using different apps like Stellarium, Skylight. We are under process of building one for Pymetrics. We'll let you know when we build one. You can also use this telescope to capture images of different astronomical objects with the help of this mobile phone adapter that we provide. So to use this mobile phone adapter, the process is very simple. You just take it, you take your phone, attach it to the mobile phone adapter, adjust the camera angle, and simply just lock it on the eyepiece. So once you've fixed the mobile phone on the telescope, you can use this Bluetooth adapter which helps us to take pictures without touching the telescope. This is compatible with both iOS and Android. So I'll just click this button and there, it took a picture. So it's that easy to take pictures of astronomical objects. So this was all about the Griffin Telescope. And if you have any doubts, feedback, let us know in the comments. And thank you so much everyone. Happy stargazing.